that um, that struck stuck out to me with this book, and it was um, when you ran into Carney Wilson in the mall, and oh, when yeah. she told you that she was going to have the surgery right. for the weight loss and how you reacted. And I want to read it. You say, I used to run into Carney Wilson at the mall all the time. I spent a lot of time there, and so did she. And I remember the day she told me she was going to have gastric bypass surgery. And I was, let's just say, less than supportive. I didn't congratulate her. I didn't ask questions. I acted like a jilted lover because that's how I felt. I'm embarrassed to say that I thought, you would rather have your stomach and intestines altered than be like me? Yeah, I'm not proud of it. <laughs> Couldn't you have read something really nice in my book? <laughs> I'm not proud of it. Uh -huh. I mean, look, I think there's a lot of misinformation out there about weight in general and losing weight in particular. And so when she said that to you, what that, were you feeling? I had the reaction that a lot of people had. I was like, what is your problem? You know, why can't yeah. you just eat less and move more and you're just lazy and you're taking the easy way out? You are selling out. And it was funny because I was with another friend of mine and when Carney left and she was so excited and looking forward to this new chapter her in her balloon. life. And I was so awful to her. Mm -hmm. And I said to my friend, I'm like, that is disgusting. I can't believe she's going to do that. And what a sellout. And why can't she just be happy with do herself? And my friend said, if you want to do it, I'll pay for it. And I was like, oh, wow. You know? So was there something inside that, was there a jealousy? Was yeah, there a like? a player hater. I mean, the truth <laughs> is, yeah. you know, and, but I didn't even realize it. And it was, to me, it was like, my weight in many ways was me being rebellious. It was mm -hmm. like, you know what? You're not going to tell me how, what I have to look to do. like. Do you feel like a hypocrite now, hypocrite now that you've had the surgery? And no, you because I was misinformed. Because okay. to me, I really did think it was the easy way out. And mm -hmm. I really did think, you know what? You just have to work hard. And what I now know is that, you know, bottom line is if you have 75 pounds or more to lose, mm -hmm. you have less than a 1% chance of keeping of that keeping weight off. off. So now you know. I heard that you said that you apologize to her every day or something to yourself, not to her personally, but like to... To Carney? To your, like, you know, mentally, like, I'm sorry, Carney, for doing that because I've done it and I understand. Well, now, I mean, yeah, I'm... <laughs> Look, I go to the same mall. I run into her aunt all the time, and I avoid her because I feel so terrible, you know? Mm -hmm. And, yeah, because I was an idiot. And I'm not saying people who are against the surgery are idiots, but I had that thing of, like, oh, you're just going to go in the hospital, and they're going to cut it off, and that's so Hollywood, and you're ridiculous, and why don't you just work hard? And now I know. You know what? This is the greatest thing I've ever done for myself. Well, take my hand. I want you to look in that camera right there. And... I'm sure Carney's watching, and you can apologize to her. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> um, Carney, I'm so sorry. You were right. I was wrong. Congratulations, and congratulate me, because I feel great, too, now. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Well, you know what? You can apologize to her in person, because she's here. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> She's here. <laughs> Come on out, Carney. Come on out here. I, when you walked out, I, I can't believe it. You just look so healthy, so beautiful. Thank so you. good. I'm so happy for you. I feel good. Thank oh, you. Oh, God. <laughs> Carney, how did you feel in the mall that day uh, when you told Jackie that you were going to have the bypass and mm. she said what she said? What did that feel like? You know, I, I didn't get that you were mean or anything like that. I just thought, you know, it's not the place where she's at. You know what I mean? And it's, mm -hmm. and I That's just. That's very generous of you, because no, I remember I'm, me going. Right. No, no. I remember it was like <laughs> the vibe, you know, wasn't the nicest vibe, but you and I always had that connection, even though, you know, we, we were not, you know, close friends, but we are friends and we'll always have that connection. Mm -hmm. So I thought to myself, maybe this is something that she really wants to do, but she's not ready to do it yet, but I knew you would. 
<laughs> I always knew that you would. You knew. I knew it. I did. I did know. You really, really know. I this did. reminds me of something that I have. Um, I call it um, the sisterhood. Yeah. And it's something I started with Naomi Campbell. I mean, this is by no means as heavy as that, but it's that judgment thing. I have something called the seven deadly sins of sisterhood, and one of the seven deadly sins is judgment. Yeah. So when I heard your story, it reminded me of that. that Women there was a in judgment. general, though. Yes, you know? yes. And Absolutely. sometimes it's a judgment because we kind of want it but don't know yeah. it, and there's right. that whole thing. And we get in our own way That's by being right. judgmental. Yeah. You know, and I was in my own way we by being judgmental. Of and, we, you know, we look in the mirror and we face our own fears every day, yeah. or we don't face our own fears. So yes. I think that that was part of it. But... I'm, when I heard you, because my Aunt Diane said, you know, at I days, know! I saw, and she, she said, I saw her, she looks so good, and I thought, oh, God, I want to see her so bad. But now you're here to see each other. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay, well, before you well, go, we have to take a break, but we're going to come back, and you know what? Before I take this break, you got to get this book. Oh. <laughs> you have to get Jackie's book, How I've Gained and Lost Millions of Dollars and Hundreds of Pounds oh, is the subtitle, but it is called Under Construction. Yes. And you hear all these stories in depth, and I've read it, and I was like, oh, sad, happy, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all righty. And for more information about my sisterhood call to action, go to tyrashow.com. We'll be right back. <laughs> Up next, Carney speaks out about her weight gain and the tabloid's obsession with her weight. We have an unflattering shot of you, and we think you're gaining all your weight back. And I said, you know, well, tell your photo editor to sit on the toilet and take a picture of him and see how flattering that is. Yeah.